Alright, let's have a look around see if we can find the missing earring. Oh, unimportant. I'd rather hear. Hmm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Hmm. Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Hmm. Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is not easy to say, but hey, gonna get it done, I guess. Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. All right, so. Money. Can we can we take this? I simply don't understand their art. An onion. <laughs> what a snack. <laughs> I'll just have about this uh, raw onion here. That's a nice snack. Um say we could talk to someone around here, I guess Hilbert. See what he's got to say. Hilbert! It's been years. Allow me to introduce you. Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. <laughs> Hmm. Frankly, don't find Gwent the least bit interesting. Oh, shame that. Good to see you again, Hilbert. <laughs> Time we were going. Uh, listen, if you decide to buy into that fun we discussed, you know where to find me. Was that going to give us some good cards? <laughs> Bloke's not scintillating in conversation, I'll grant you, but he's a right fiend at the card table. No matter. 
Maybe next time. All right, so there's an opportunity to get some cards. It's like, ah, uh, it's okay. I just don't have time to play it on the Let's Play, really. It's too time consuming. That's the thing about Gwent. Uh, might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Mmm, a bit. Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Noob, the master from Maribor. <laughs> van der Noob. Maribor. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Maribor. Hmm. Yeah, it's got to be the middle one, surely. Uh, can't be the still life. Yeah, it's, it's the only one that's in the middle, and it's the picture of the merchant, which we've seen before, so... It's got to be the middle one, I guess. <sighs> really? Merchant with the pearl, no two ways about it. Merchant with the pearl earring. <laughs> my, my. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. Oh, we got it. Nice. I feel I should apologize in the tone, so I shall tell you a secret. Oh. A Van Roo is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friends back in. So, what did he tell you? To buy the Van Roo. Apparently this bookseller in Novigrad's willing to pay top coin for his work. Oh, who'd have thunk? All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. Sheer number of them's doing my heed in. Yeah. Uh, Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen. The auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, I'm pretty sure last. I can't get Come with me go to and get more money because we'll I've got like no face. money at all. I'm pretty sure we're sealed in here now, so yeah. Oh well, that's fine. We didn't. I mean, it's an auction, but we didn't get any any indication we'd be able to bid for stuff. Give me so. listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? 
they'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be in intermission. Horse Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Nope. <laughs> If you think you can spot me a couple hundred. Of course, pal. And at a very favorable rate of interest. Just one crown on ten when you pay me back. Here, ought to do you for a bit of daffery. Happy hunting to you. That's not going to be enough. <laughs> Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Going once? Twice? Going thrice? The Honourable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any sure. advance on three? 300 going. Countess Mignol at 350 going once, twice. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at... 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. All right. Oh, we've a bidder. Cat-eyed, no less. At 20. Do I hear 30? Forgive me, Geralt, but business is business. <laughs> 30 from Vimy Vivaldi. Do I see 40 anywhere? 30 going once? Going twice? Aha! The white-haired gentleman bids 40. Who will bid more? 40 once? Forty twice? Vivaldi the bank is not about to give up easily. Fifty! Any advance on fifty? Shouldn't have said anything. Fifty going once? Going twice? Last chance, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've a right bidding war here. Sixty? The excitement! An advance on sixty? Sixty going once? Sixty going twice? Oh, all yours, Geralt. <laughs> Sold Van Roo's Starry Night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Very good. At least it wasn't much. I thought it was going to be hundreds. Number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacle. Pretty cheap auction. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. <clears throat> Brilliant. With the gentleman with the white hair now at 350. What? I didn't. 350 once. <laughs> 350 twice. And think, three, think... four. Oh. 400 oh. now with Countess Mignol. Any advance on that? Going once, twice. Thrice and sold. The professor's spectacles go to the countess. <laughs> oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look, horse Basudi. Come on, afford some other cocksuckers stealing. Just, <laughs> well, don't expect a warm welcome. Oh dear. Why not? Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. <laughs> Hmm. Exactly. Pretty serious oversight. I see no reason why the faux pas should taint our newfound acquaintance. 
acquaintance. I honestly don't know what you think this is, Vagrant. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Hmm. Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Mm. So he was, he was ever, ever what he, yeah. Your swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm hmm Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Okay. Bugger's going down! And we can't use that in any potions or nothing. Oh well, we lost. <laughs> Your swords, master. Just need you to sign here. F fuck you. Ooh. Depositor refused to confirm receipt. Signed, Sergeant Figner. A pleasant day to you. Yeah, I haven't done any fist fighting for forever, so Seems I forgot true how to do what it. They say. When it's many against one, even a witcher's done. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. You'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Yeah, I'm no fist fighter, that's for sure. It's like, uh, I always forget, like, what key does what, and then I have to learn it all over again. Anyway, that worked out anyway. Okay, we're gonna go to the herbalist hut. Might as well follow it up and see what that needs to. If it's a trap, hopefully we'll be able to use the damn sword. Hmm. No! 
How long you gonna make me wait? Yeah, what keeps hitting the wrong target? It's really uh too bad. I wanna take that. You can hit the hit the damn hammer guy more than once, please. Not come good. on. It keeps ignoring the hammer guy and goes for the shield guy. It's like come on. It's like the game wants me to fuck up. It's like I want the not that guy. How do I change target? You can't really change target, that's the thing. Come on, I just fucking blocked that. Thank fuck, I finally got to kill it. Hammer guy. It was just like determined not to ever let me hit him. Like, oh, you have to hit the shield guy. It's like, no. I love how my breaking the shield does like no damage. It's like, how does the shield like protect you from magic damage exactly? Come on, what's that? Again, it's like. Okay, that's one down. Yeah, there's no damage to them. Doesn't make any sense. Magical barrier breaking is gonna go past the shield easy. Just die already, jeez. This guy's been up for how long? The correct time though. finally busy spot lots to do busy spot yeah two shield guys is a nasty combo empty bottle huh? So I wonder if this was a trap after all. Huh. That was rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. There's a lot of herbs up there. Must remember to pick them. You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? 
I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Hmm. The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Hmm. Ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You're in or not. Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist or not? Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shithole otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage, just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow. You won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Oh, exactly. No. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, <laughs> armored door, windows, diamond. Uh, not a stealth but mission. Not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Hmm. Looks bleak to me. Tower walls smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and... And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, or a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I, But well, that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. Hmm. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talks a mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering round. We could get noticed. Hmm. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. Wouldn't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. Hmm. 
Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as the Ermin. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities? Rhythmic gymnastics and tightrope walking. Uh, breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. I highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. <laughs> a halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Novigrad. So, the half-man's a climber. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Novigrad gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Olmus. Might plain turn us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. Ah, oh, right. The famed Hans. Went out with his pals to hunt monsters. Turned out they were shit at it. I know the man. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways. All together. All right. Nice. I thought there might be some loot in here. Nice master items. <laughs> some really nice stuff down here. Ah, that's the posters. Yeah, it's gonna have to. Ha I'm gonna have to have a think about what we uh, what we choose here. Probably not gonna go for the guy who's retired. That doesn't seem right. But uh, otherwise, maybe. Let's get out of here. Can we, uh, can we climb this? Yeah. <laughs> Was an option, giving an option to climb. Alright. That's a good one. And we have many herbs to collect, it seems. But uh, I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we'll be organizing this heist, and hopefully, we don't have to do too many sneaky bits. Uh, <laughs> that's not my 14, let's put it that way. Anyway, guys, till next time.